worked as a hairdresser uh, a lot of years, maybe maybe twen- twenty. And, That's a lot. Uh, yes, a lot. <laughs> but uh, my clients always ask me why I not open my salon, and uh, I saw uh, around that uh, salon uh, salons is opened and then uh, closed. And uh, for me, this was uh, maybe I afraid a little bit of this because uh, to open salon is this one thing, but uh, that it start to work and how to do this uh, this uh, other. Uh, and I heard about this program from my friends and and they my clients and uh, I think um, why not I can try to uh, take part but mm-hmm. <laughs> will I be here or no but uh, I will try uh, from the beginning of this year um, in my salon uh, my uh, uh, my owner of salon mm-hmm. uh, proposed me to be as a business partner because she opened salon but she really don't know uh, how and what to do mm-hmm. uh, and uh, I said oh okay I will help you but when I start to do this manager of people and manager of salon I understood that uh, that's very different things to be a hairdresser mm-hmm. and uh, to manage and uh, really that was uh, this program program that's, uh, open for me maybe yes. my mind yes, yes. Yeah. when I met with uh, Ingle and uh, Gedra um, I'm uh, very grateful uh, for uh, uh, for them because uh, they uh, really show me uh, their uh, maybe a deep um, Mm, uh, mind and deep philosophy of uh, this business. They look at uh, it uh, not uh, as uh, like uh, accounts and uh, financials. Mm-hmm. So they also um, look at uh, f- look uh, more deeper because uh, uh, all um, our business, uh, the beauty business, uh, depend on uh, the um, human. Uh, Human human, uh, emotions, emotions, very human contact. uh, Yes, yes. Every day we um, uh, we meet and uh, we talk. uh, I ask about some um, things like um, how to uh, how they make uh, um, marketing. uh, Mm -hmm. Yes and uh, where they found uh, clients, uh, uh, what uh, kind of uh, uh, advertising they uh, use, uh, Mm -hmm. what uh, worked better. Mm -hmm. Uh, They uh, uh, told me uh, uh, that uh, of course they had uh, mistakes at first when uh, they uh, started this business and now uh, they show uh, how to do it right. Uh, right way uh, and uh, they use uh, they show me some programs uh, what they uh, use in their business uh, uh, so that's very interesting so they uh, and share, uh, with, share you? with me uh, maybe more than I uh, thought that uh, this more than be, you yeah. had expected at, <laughs> yes, at the very yes, beginning yes yes uh, also, um, uh, I work in salon and we have uh, beauticians, a uh, uh, cabinet of beauticians, mm-hmm. but uh, I never uh, think about the work too. And uh, they uh, show me uh, some things how this uh, must be, uh, um, some kinds of procedures that uh, really, uh, I think... Um, Maybe in Ukraine we have some of them, but I never heard about mm. this. So it's really new. Uh, yes, yeah? yes, it's yes, yes, yes. Uh, for me, that's really new. Um, of course, at first I have to say that it is the big honor and uh, very big responsibility to be as a host. And um, the biggest advantage is... Uh,
growing, I believe. It's very, very important for Sana Beauty and for me and for um, Gedra, our director of Sana Beauty. And um, um, of course, I believe that our friendship with Isolde is not finished, uh, finishing till this project uh, finishes. Until, yeah, until the end, but uh, I believe it will be um, <laughs> more <laughs> friendship <laughs> after this. And, uh, this friendship, uh, international friendships, uh, gives always uh, a lot of uh, minds and it's good that you can see your business from another eyes, not just from yours. Sometimes you can think that you are perfect or you are on your way, but uh, when other people are coming to your home, like with your business, you can see um, some um, another thing is that uh, it's not so good looking for, from our eyes. And I have some advices from Sana uh, that uh, all the people have to know what they do, what do they want and they have to decide at first what, they, what do they want. And um, second thing, they have to trust 100% of luck. And you don't need to know everything about your plans, but you have to know just the plan, the end of the plan. And of course, the third thing, you have to do everything that it must be true, and that you have bad things that you decide to have. But this advice is from. So now it's all that tell everyone why we are here today. Uh, I heard uh, from Simona about uh, one a great barbary uh, who uh, take part in different events uh, in social projects and uh, he a very interesting person, young but very interesting. So I go to him and ask about our meeting with him and uh, uh, I was very uh, surprised uh, because uh, uh, after a few words uh, we start to planning uh, some uh, maybe workshop, uh, maybe something interesting between uh, two other, uh, our countries because uh, uh, in our country it's also very fashion to uh, come to barbers, now to salons like uh, uh, always uh, and uh, uh, not many barber shops in our country. And we met uh, in uh, other uh, barber shop uh, uh, and uh, there I met with the Andrews. Uh, and Erika said that uh, you can talk between each other, I think you will uh, know what to say. <laughs> and uh, after this uh, Maybe uh, this little idea, uh, talking with Eric, uh, with, with Andrews, we uh, this idea start to grow uh, and grow and grow <laughs> for this big event like show. Two weeks ago, we met Zolda. For like a other different project, but this is a grow. We, we share ideas as a person, just, uh, the live ideas, and this, this project is a change to the, to the bigger, much bigger, like event or festival. And the ideas is a deal in, in, in different and in Ukraine, so the two countries. Uh, right? Because uh, two other uh, our countries, I know they have interest to uh, maybe uh, grow uh, in uh, this uh, way of uh, uh, in fashion, in uh, developing uh, relationships, uh, and uh, um, I know that uh, our country, uh, people of our country, have interest to have businesses here, and so maybe. Um, this will be uh, useful for uh, our both countries. Okay.
and I think this this festival is a good idea because you can can change your experience. The show what is different is because this is a different country than all countries because the idea is in just one country to involve a lot of countries to to involve in the festival and and show what you can do and see what the other can do. So I think for business and for to grow the business is a very, very good experience. And uh, what do you expect uh, from this event? How, how many people you would like to attract? What, uh, what the outcome How much is possible? How much is possible? Yeah. <laughs> how much is possible? Yes. From from international, from all yes. There's yes. no limit. There's no limit. No yeah. limit. <laughs> Uh, after these events, are you planning uh, about uh, the future collaborations? I, I think I, I, be, I believe they're gonna gonna like a born or start new businesses between between uh, people who's gonna get involved in it and and our plans do not just to two events or one event. We plan to do this every year. So like I do, like a, yes, yes, like a yes. traditional, like a, do traditional every year. Uh, yeah. Zalda, since you are um, our young entrepreneur, uh, what do you think how this uh, affects your business uh, in general? What experience uh, you would expect to, to have from these events? Mm. At first, I uh, know that in Ukraine we haven't uh, something like this, uh, and uh, for our people that's also will be interesting because a lot of things we have for women and uh, different shows, with, uh, different uh, uh, exhibitions, and uh, that's all for women. But uh, I think that uh, not uh, many people think that uh, to do something for men. That's, uh, I think that will be very interesting. I hope but, you will, you will uh, start uh, this yes, tradition. Yes, we will start. And after visiting uh, of this uh, barber shop, I am uh, very uh, grateful for these uh, guys uh, uh, because I look also for this kind uh, of uh, work uh, on, uh, from other way and uh, uh, I think start to think to maybe open barbershop in our city too <laughs> because <laughs> uh, that's a very yes very good idea and uh, talking with uh, Andrew we uh, have so much uh, different ideas so I will call and uh, uh, ask how and what better because I'm I'm woman, and he managed who can <laughs> give some more experience in this way. So, unless you are willing to share every experience yes. with all the yeah, Of course, and, and I'm like a sponge, I'm, I'm taking out your information as well. Yes. So, because this, so you yeah. learned something uh, as well? Uh, yeah, a lot, because, because this, from the other person, whatever it is, you can learn a lot. You can't know everything. Something new, some more ideas, and always when you can, when you try to do anything, so the team is much easier and much better than you alone. So you never win the war if you're alone. You can win the war if you've got a big, nice, and strong arm. I want to say to everyone who won, uh, maybe one day uh, want to uh, want to create their own business uh, uh, that. Uh, you can try and you uh, take part, you must try to uh, take part in this program Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs because that's a very great experience. Uh, you uh, can go to the other country, you can uh, see uh, and uh, how people do uh, their uh, business uh, uh, in this country. Maybe you uh, will have some uh, experience uh, what you never seen in Europe because we all have uh, different mind. We have uh, uh, different uh, things and uh, uh, 
we know it's similar, but uh, for your uh, experience, that will be uh, very great. And uh, of course, I'm very happy uh, that I uh, take part in uh, this uh, program. Uh, I have a lot of new friends. Uh, they are very uh, uh, friendly. And, uh, they have open uh, heart. Uh, they uh, have a clear heart, and uh, they uh, share and show what all what they uh, can, what they know, and uh, uh, they try to help to you to ask you for your questions, what you have, uh, and also uh, that's uh, very. Uh, big experience and you can grow uh, from uh, for yourself by from inside you and uh, I uh, want to say you must do it. <laughs>